Hey, welcome to Dr. Levin's Music Lab. No, I'm not a real doctor. I lost my medical license after I prescribed this to a patient as a laxative, but it's a fixative. <laughs> that was so silly. Um, let's not talk about that, though. Let's talk about music. Today I'm going to show you ways to take common household items and make free guitar effects for your guitar. Let's try a few. So let's start with a metal spoon. Made out of metal. Hard to the touch. Hard to the head. Don't hit yourself with it. Here it is. Put it in between the strings here. interweave it so that it's above the low E, under the A, above the D, below the G, over the B, and under the E. And now check this out. <laughs> Effects like this make it more of a percussion instrument than a melodic instrument because you have a lot less control over your notes, but it also sounds awesome. If you put it higher up, it can make cool spaceship noises. and it'll vibrate against the guitar when you play. If you let it ring like that, it sounds awesome. So this can be really cool if you're into electronica music. You can actually use this as a sample, make it something like this. Or like And if you move this spoon while you go, it makes different pitches. So I think there are a lot of cool experiments that can be done with the spoon. We can also use it to roll, like a snare drum. I don't know, it's something to try, but the next trick, one of my favorites, is you take a regular old paper towel and you rip a piece ah! and you can fold the piece up like so and now I'm going to put it between my strings. Over and under and over and under and then move it all the way back to the bridge. Back to the bridge. Now it'll sound like an Eastern kind of instrument. And one embellishment you can do is pick and pull off as soon as you pick. I like that sound a lot. And with the right effects, and we some delay, get some cool results. And if you use different material the same way, for example, some cardstock. Put it in between the same same way as you did before. Now you get a totally different sound. It sounds like I'm picking every note, but I'm not. Because hammer on and pull offs have more attack now. Alright. So now Let's see what happens if we take a playing card. It could be, it doesn't have to be a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It could be any nerd game. Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. And you put those through the strings like so. And now it turns your guitar really into a percussion instrument. There's not too much in terms of pitch here.
But what it does is it lets it so if you if you do um, legato playing down on the low strings and the low frets, like here, you can have toms. And then if you play up here, it, you get like higher sounding drums. And you can make an amazing drum percussion kit out of your guitar this way. So let's see. Maybe I can get a groove going. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. Now imagine that in your head. And one last thing is if you take an electric razor and put it up to your pickups, you can make cool noises. Don't touch it to your pickups because you'll shave them. But just put it over, hover it over. It's a cool noise. Um, there's probably more that you could do if, if you somehow had a glove made out of four of these or something and you could turn them on and off. I don't know, that would be pretty cool. Different pitches and whatnot. So, I hope you have been inspired by these crazy things and these f relatively, if not, if you don't already own one of these, then I guess it's not free, but if it's around the house, then they're free guitar effects for you to enjoy. Now I'm going to play with them and I hope you like it. Don't sue me for musical malpractice. See you next time.